Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Curious channel and another ETAP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a really, really important thing in designer structure and that is the eccentricity of the beam about column. Some designers think that the eccentricity of beam about column will be economy for a structure because the width of the beam will be decreased. You know, uh, in this video, I'm going to show that although it is economy, but it has dangerous effect, really dangerous effect about for uh, column and frame and then structure. Let's uh, get started. Hello again. Let's uh, check that issue. I opened, just opened the ETAPS 2016. Uh, there is here a simple model and a simple model is enough for us now. Uh, let me model it. And there is just one story is enough. Okay. Uh, the width, uh, the uh, dimension of column is 70 and the dimension of beam is 40 here. I'm gonna draw that, see. Uh, I apologize for my drawing because this is not uh, straight, I'm sorry. I'm gonna show that. Uh, sorry. Okay, it's okay. It's 70 centimeter. Uh, it's 70 centimeter. And this is 47 centimeter. And I'm gonna uh, say that here. There is not any eccentricity between column and a beam, you know. The ox of beam is on the ox of column, uh, you know. And uh, okay, this is model. Uh, let's check it that on e tabs. Sorry. Uh, let me draw that column here. The section of uh, SSA is the column of 70 in dimension. You know, SSA. Okay, okay. And let me draw that beam. 40 widths and 40 depths. No. Okay, let me uh, fix the joint of the bottom of the column. Okay, now I'm going to show that there is not any accentuity with this. You know, as you can see, there is not any eccentricity. Okay, and uh, the other thing that I'm going to show is that the local axis in the frame. You know, the blue uh, line is the three axis, and the uh, red line is two local axis. You know, uh, let me now uh, insert load on the beam about four ton, four ton per meter. It's our low. Now I'm gonna analyze. Let me save it.
Okay. Now I'm going to extract the movement diagram of this frame. As you can see, there is not any movement about uh, local access to, you know, because there is not any eccentricity. That is really important. And let's extract the moment three. You know, that is the moment and it is natural, you know, and uh, reasonable. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna make eccentricity for that. You know, uh, as we check here, I'm gonna transfer the uh, end of the beam to here. It means that my beam sorry my beam is going to be here. And uh, it the eccentric, you know. I'm gonna show that eccentric. Okay. Uh, let me do that. Uh, now I'm gonna select this beam. You see, and make a eccentricity for that. So I'm gonna extract from analysis mode. Uh, I select it, and then I make the eccentricity. Okay, about uh, global axis of Y. You know, it's uh, 150. 150 now I'm going to check it out as you can see the end of the beam is on the end of the column and that means the eccentricity of axis of beam and column okay now let's check it out analyze the model Extract the moment frame. Now you can see the moment frame about two local axes. You know, uh, we decreased the width of the beam, and uh, that was economy for us in casting and for all of a structure. But uh, we see that we can uh, understand that this thing uh, make that eccentricity will cause the column to endure excessive moment you know it means that in the cycles in cycles of this earthquake our column endure more moments you know moments frame moments uh, and that is dangerous for our column uh, my uh, goal uh, in this video uh, was that to show uh, this really really important issue and uh, I want the structure designer not to uh, decrease the width of the beam to make uh, uh, the project economy. And uh, as you, as I said, it is very uh, dangerous for our column and our frame. Uh, I hope you all enjoy enjoy this video, everybody. Thank you very much.